Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at the image uh, overlapping each other in uh, your app and the Z index. Now, uh, when you have, for example, two or more images in your in the same window in your app, and due to its uh, size and the position, they overlap in some way, like the corners overlapping or something like that. Now, uh, you might be wrong. You might be wondering which picture or photo goes on top of which. And we are going to be uh, using four images to uh, look at that. And we are also going to be uh, doing a bit of code to control which image goes on top of what. So if I go to my desktop in here, I've got my uh, folder. And inside the folder, I've created, before I started recording this video, uh, four simple boxes. Now, all I used was a uh, paint or a program like a paint or GIMP or something like that, just some uh, default uh, application which makes which lets you build uh, or create uh, four boxes each with a different color and they're all, uh, 100 pixels long and 100 pixels wide or height long uh, length and width 100 pixels each now it doesn't have to be exactly 100 pixels nor it doesn't have to be four uh, images it doesn't have to be JPEG it doesn't have to be these specific colors all I just using uh, is for these four images as an example to show you uh, which uh, image goes on top of which and how to control them. So I'm going to uh, copy this and or drag it into my resources and it comes up with this file operation uh, pop-up so I want to copy files not link to so I'm going to press OK here and as you can see there's the blue, green, red and the yellow box. Don't worry about these two these are just a uh, basic not basic, the default uh, PNG icons that comes up when you create your uh, new Titanium default project. So if you have been following my video until up to chapter 18, or chapter 18, yeah, uh, chapter 18, or episode 18, then all you need to do is just delete this app.js. And if you haven't, don't worry, all you need to do is just uh, create a new default uh, yeah, create a new default uh, Titanium application or project and then just delete the app.js because it comes with those uh, random junk, not junk, but random bunch of code. So the first thing we're going to be doing is creating a window. So var win equals, not minus, equals ti.ui.create a window. And inside here, we are just going to say the background color, not with a big O, color is uh, there that and let's just make it white so f f f f f f and no commas because it's only going to be one property and semicolon at the end now we are going to be adding uh four images so var uh image zero one image zero one e come on equals uh tie dot ui dot create image view and inside here we are going to say that image equals URL of the image. It's in the same location or the same uh, folder as the app.js. So I'm not, I don't need to write any uh, folders in front of this. And I'm just going to say bluebox.jpg, comma. And then I want the height to be uh, 75 pixels, so 75. The width to be 75 pixels. And I want it to be 50 pixels from the top. So top 50 and semicolon at the end. Now let's just quickly uh, add that to our window. So window add image zero one and window open and check it out. Okay, so I'm going to run my iPhone simulator. Oh, let me just quickly put this. There we go, full screen, and it's initiating prepare phase and it's executing or just outputting a random bunch of info code into, not code, but info into the console. So hopefully the simulator is going to pop up anytime soon. There we go. And if I didn't make any errors in the code, it's going to give me a nice blue box somewhere in the top middle. There we go. So we have this blue box at the top. Okay. Uh, so what should we do now? Let's just quickly close our simulator 
and add the rest of the images. So in between the image one and the window add, we are going to write three more. So var image zero two equals tie.ui.create image view. And inside the image is going to be what's the next one? Green box. Green box or JPEG. And the height to be 75. The width to be 75 as well. And I want it to be about 100 pixels from the top. So it's going to overlap slightly at the top. And then, actually, I am going to copy and paste the rest. So I'm going to copy this image to Control C or Command C and then paste in one. So I'm going to change this to image 3 equals, and that's going to be the same. And the image is going to be not green, but the next one is red. So I'm going to make it a red box. And I'm going to change the position of the red box, the top position of the red box, to 150. Like so. And then I'm going to be adding my last image there, which is image 04. And the URL or the image name is yellow and the height and the width is going to be the same and I'm going to change the top to be 200 so it's going 50 pixels down each time okay so uh, window open is the same so I'm going to add this window add into uh, win into image 2 to 4 as well so I'm going to copy this and paste it three times and I'm going to simply just change this name from image 01 to 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so now once that's done, I'm going to save my app.js and run the iPhone simulator. Now remember that the because this is going to be important, the order in which I wrote my images or inserted my images was in blue, green, red and yellow. It's basically alphabetical order. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, okay, it might be a bit difficult to see. I should have maybe added a left to it, but oh well. As you can see, uh, the, what do you call it? The blue is behind the green, which is behind the red which is behind the yellow. So uh, if it's, I don't know, shall I add the width? No, shall I add the left? Um, let me quickly add the left because it's really difficult to see. Um, left, I don't know, 20 or something like that. And then left, left, I'm going to add 50 to it. So 20, 70, left, 120, and oops, comma there and there it's going to give me areas so coming back to the image 4 left is uh, 170 okay so save that and I'm going to reload my iPhone simulator because so I, I think this is going to be a bit more easier to see because the image were basically like a caterpillar so although you it's obvious that it was because all of them are the same size the same square uh, it's overlapping each other or the blue is on blue is behind green and so on there we go however it was difficult to see so I added a bit of a diagonal line to it now as you can see the blue is behind the green because of this corner and the green is behind the red because of this and the red is behind the yellow and basically the yellow is on top of everything if I change the position of this yellow to be somewhere in between green and red it's going to be on top of both green and red this is because by default uh, titanium puts the image that gets loaded after on top so because in this app.js I added the blue box first and then the green then the red then the yellow the order of the position is in that order of which I that was weird English the order of the what you call it the image is exactly the same as the order in which I wrote the code so because I wrote the blue first it's at the bottom at the lowest it's like uh, putting down four different colored origami papers or just like colored notes you put the green down first and then you put the you put the blue one first sorry and then you put the green one so obviously 
uh, the green one's going to be on top of the blue and then you put the red one and then you put the yellow one so the yellow is going to be on top of everything now this is the default uh, property of the image overlapping in titanium now what if you wanted to change this so that for example you wanted the red and the red and I don't know the blue to be on the top then by using a property called a Z index, Z index or the Z index you can change it so let me close my iPhone simulator and then uh, go to I don't know I want to put the the blue one and the red one to the top so I am going to write uh, Z index come over here and I'm going to be inserting a number inside here now the if all the images have this Z index property the higher the Z index the what you call it the higher the position of the image so if I have a Z index of 4 here and then in my green one I have a Z index of 3 the blue one is going to be on top of the green one so inside here I'm going to have a Z index of 3 and then the red because I want it to be overlapping the green one I'm going to give it a Z index of 5 oops sorry I'm keep on forgetting to do the comma so don't forget the comma off uh, on the left a property because we're adding another one at the bottom so I want to also change this Z index index to I don't know one and don't forget the comma so let's save our work and see what changed if everything goes right because the Z index of the green is lower than the blue blue is going to be on top of the green and because the index Z index of the red is both higher than of the green and the yellow red is going to be also on top of both there we go as you can see we have blue on top of green now and the red on top of green and yellow so that's the Z index by using it we can change uh, which uh, image goes on top of uh, which one so uh, all you need to remember is the Z index property and if you uh, the higher the number of the value of the Z index property the higher the position okay so you can even think of it like uh, like a stair so you have level 1 which is Z index 1 level 2 which is Z index 2 and then you're adding the colored paper or the colored images or just the images whatever into each level and if you look from the top you can see that I put my red at the Z index of 5 so level 5 so obviously it's going to be at a higher position than uh, the green and the yellow which I put at Z index 3 and 4 I hope this explanation was uh, uh, what do you call it decently explained and you understood what the Z index is so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.